Hello everyone and welcome to the Evernote for Students series. In these series of videos, we'll go over the best ways to use Evernote for effectively organising and coordinating your university and work. So my name is Francesco, I'm a student at university at the moment and I've been using Evernote ever since I was about 16 to keep everything organised and collectively together so that I can get more done across my day. So in this series, I'm actually gonna be teaching you from the basics all the way to the advanced level stuff so that you can go away and start using that in your everyday student activities. Evernote personally has helped me run societies, keep on top of my university work, and also help towards building a career and organizing all of that side of stuff. And I think that using the features and the tools inside of Evernote can really help you be a bit more efficient when you're going across university activities. So in lesson one, what we're going to do is focus on actually setting up your notebooks. This is sometimes called the exciting part for a lot of people because you get to basically bring everything together, you know, all your physical bits of paper, put them into one space and get them all organized into your Evernote. This is a great experience because it's almost like the declutter part of everything. So what we're going to do today is set up all of the notebooks that you'd use across your day. Now, when starting out, I know a lot of students have the problem of how do I organize my Evernote in a orderly fashion so that they can input all of their information and all of the things that they capture during their day. Now, the way I recommend you start is by creating simple notebooks that are based on the topic that you are studying. So this could be on your classes, uh, your certain hobbies that you cover, the societies that you're involved in, and any projects you have. They can include other things like sport or any blogs that you have. Now this will basically just allow you to segregate any of the notes that you have into these notebooks. It's a great way to organize. Imagine them as folders, um, but they're simple. So when you get started, just have this approach that you need to keep things simple and easy when you get started. What I recommend doing then from there is start inputting some notes in to certain areas. If you have any notes or uh, items lying around, so for example, notes from the previous lecture, or even things like just general information about uh, a certain area that you're covering, maybe something about your blog, just start putting it in. But what I actually recommend people do is sit down, they write down all of the different things that they do, and make sure they're covering it with those notebooks. Now the worst thing to happen is you get a couple of months in and you actually miss out a notebook and you have to sort of create a new one or merge another one. And that can happen of course, but it's easier to get things out of the way now. So make sure that you're mind mapping all of the areas that you have in your daily routine. When it comes to importing notes, obviously there are ways to import notes uh, using other tools and I'll include them in the description. But the best way in doing so is actually being able to use the app so on the app, you can actually scan in documents all the way to your notes. Uh, that's a great way to collect any paper documents you have. So if they include anything like your student ID or anything else like, you know, um, student finance or information around that, then you can import them using the app, which is handy. The only other thing is making sure that you're collecting all of the uh, like items you have on digital format. So PDFs, anything like that. The way that I recommend continuing is obviously when you are using Evernote now is when you've once you've added all of the importing and all of the old documents that you had, start using Evernote to do stuff in real time. So when a lecture happens, make a note and call it lecture one uh, and actually get started and start putting things in as you go. The great thing with Evernote is it's actually really simple to get started. So before you start, I recommend creating one of these university breakdowns. I'll do a separate video on how to do this effectively, but here's a basic example. I would list out all of the modules that you're covering in your university course. If you're full-time or part-time, this will work for you. But basically this will give you a big bird's eye overview of all of your work and allow you at any given point to go back to this note and find out where you are at. This will showcase your grades, what percentage of each piece of the coursework or exams are associated to the overall grade and will give you an overall picture of where you are at in your university career. Now this is really handy because for me, I always come back to this and make sure I'm on the right track and then I can extract any items that I need to get out of it. So for example, I'll look at it and go, oh my God, I need to be catching up with a certain module and then I can map all of my tasks or priorities around those uh, needs. 
So here's a basic example of that being created, but I will do a full video of that one. Just going back to the point of this first episode is creating those notebooks. Once you've got all those topic-based stuff in, start adding the notes and you'll see the benefits as you start adding them in. And we'll go through more of the detailed functions in other videos. So if you've got Evernote installed on Mac, you can have it on Windows as well. You can have it on iOS. You can actually have the web version and on Android as well. Now, when you've got the freemium version, if you haven't upgraded yet, you actually get two devices. So you can have it on your iPhone and Mac, for example, or your Windows and Android as a great way to store any of your notes. But if you go over two devices, then you'll have to be looking to pay. Now, Evernote do a student pricing, so I'll include the information in the description. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. In future videos, we're going to be going into detail on note creation and even that university breakdown we talked to before. And we're also going to discover how you can use Evernote to organize your society's sports, blog, and other sort of items that you interact with over your university and college career. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first episode, and I'm looking forward to sharing some more with you in the future. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.